Hi, I'm Prasad from AWS. And I'm Paul from Red Hat. And today we are here to talk about the ROSA private offer process, which is basically a preferential pricing method where you can uh, enjoy uh, preferential pricing on ROSA environments. So, walking you through the factors here, the first thing we've got to look at is the term. It requires commitment from the customer. This does not apply to pay-as-you-go pricing. So what we're looking for is at least a one or a three-year term from the customer. Uh, the payment terms can either be upfront or it can be partial upfront or the payment terms can be monthly if the customer wants. Now, after we've determined the term, what's yeah. next? So next is you've got to look at your cost structure. In terms of the cost structure, Rosa has uh, three elements to it, right? One is your actually your Rosa subscription itself, which is your software, right? So your Rosa subscription is very important. That's provided to you by Red Hat, right? To this, you should add your compute costs. And it's very important because Rosa needs a compute layer to, to, to run, right? And then you would you want Rosa to talk to other databases or other services on AWS or even your external services, right? So in, to that case, you've got to add all of your other AWS service costs that are required to run Rosa effectively, right? Once you get these costs, uh, this needs to remain uh, as accurate as possible for Red Hat and AWS to provide you that preferential pricing. Once that is ready, you'll have to have your AWS Marketplace portal activated on your AWS subscription. And normally most of you will have it. And that is going to be your portal, basically, to accept your private offer. That's where you should. So these are the three things that you need to first take care to start to get preferential pricing. Right? Just a comment there on the marketplace. Rosa is available for private offers yep. globally, but not all Red Hat products are available for private offers in every region. So do check that yep. first. Yeah, correct. Okay, next is sizing. So how much are we going to provide this discount for? This is a key thing. So remember, Rosa is priced per worker node, where a worker node is four virtual CPUs. My advice on this one is to see our technical specialist to confirm your sizing there. Our technical specialists on the Red Hat side are known as the managed OpenShift black belts. And they've got great experience understanding the workload profile and sizing it correctly. On top of this, we can help you with the EC2 sizing, the right instance types, and any additional AWS services. Now I wanna really emphasize this point is both of these sizing aspects, the ROSA cluster sizing and the EC2 need to be accurate. So I'm gonna put that in capitals there because if you, the customer exceeds this sizing, what happens for size? So the, the, the whole thing flips over to the market rate and preferential pricing is no longer available for the excess charges. So mm -hmm. that's, that's very important because you don't want to get bill shocks while using Rosa, which is a fantastic platform. And then, okay, so once all of this has been determined, there is a form, we'll send the link at the bottom of this video, that you complete with all the customer details. Once that has been approved, the customer then goes to the AWS console in their marketplace, and there will be an email notification coming from Red Hat with the details of the private offer. Now, I suggest reading these very carefully, the T's and C's, yeah. before you click accept, right? This will detail what the sizing is, what instance types, the number of worker nodes, and so forth. So once you're happy with that, then the customer will click the accept, and then you have to wait a few minutes. Yeah. The page will then update with the effective start date, and what's the other E? The, the expiry date, the there you go, plus the expiry date there. That is determined by a one-year or a two-year term. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So once the you accept the offer, you can pretty much start to uh, deploy, right? So basically, there is a button on the website uh, on the Rosa console page that just says "Continue to Config." Hit that button. Uh, hit that button, and basically, uh, you you can you start to uh, ready to deploy. So what you can do is download the CLI tool, basically, and kick off your first Rosa cluster, and off you go. And I hope this this uh, video has helped you in terms of the preferential pricing that's available for Rosa, and uh, hopefully it'll help you make a decision on this pretty soon. And I would like to thank Paul for helping us with this video. But before we sign up, Prasad, one question from the audience here: I've already got clusters of Rosa; they're running pay as you go. I get a private offer. Do I have to start up new clusters for that? No, you don't. So if you've got an existing Rosa cluster already running, 
here on AWS, you basically apply the private offer to that existing cluster. There's no need to migrate, nothing, it's quite easy. And that, that sizing is taken into account, in fact, makes the job a lot more easier to do it. Indeed. Very simple then. And your customer will benefit both from the productivity of ROSA and the pricing benefits. Thank you for joining us today.